More donations took place in Walton County today, where people kicked off the new year in a special and unusual way. Hundreds gathered earlier today for the annual Polar Plunge event. News 13's Jenna Maddox has more on how this event benefited one of South Walton Fire District's own. Getting drenched by ice cold water. That's how some people in Santa Rosa Beach rang in the new year on Saturday. The South Walton Fire District hosted their annual Polar Plunge event. It turned out well. We had hundreds of people out here. Shunkoli is a great co sponsor. They were with us every step of the way supporting this event, and we couldn't be happier with the turnout. We got kids, people of our senior community, residents, tourists, everybody was out here. First responders were so proud. However, the event was a little different than years past. Doing a polar rinse actually because the water is a double red flag. Yeah. That's right. Double red flags were flying on the beach due to surf conditions being too rough for swimmers. There have also been reports of several man of war washing onto the shore. But that didn't stop the fun on Saturday, though. There was a costume contest right before the plunge, featuring many recognizable characters. Frank Douglas took home the big prize in his category. I'm feeling pretty happy because I beat out the Grinch and Uncle Eddie. There were smiles, screams, and laughter all around when the first responders drenched the crowd in water. A couple even got engaged at the event. All of this was in support of Noah Collins, a South Walton firefighter who was seriously injured in a vehicle accident a few weeks ago. The proceeds will go to Noah and his family for his recovery. Noah's doing great. We were told this morning that he's making steps towards working on his physical recovery now as well as mental. He suffered very serious leg injuries as well as a traumatic brain injury. So every step that he makes every day is a positive one. McClintock says the event raised over $8,500 for Noah and the memories are sure to be long lasting. Today was an absolute blast. I cannot believe we pulled it off the way we did because we weren't expecting such a large turnout with the Gulf being closed due to the double red flags. But we never should have doubted this community. They've been supportive from the first day and they're supportive today. We are so happy. It was all for Noah. We couldn't be prouder. In Santa Rosa Beach, Jenna Maddox, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If you missed today's event and you'd still like to donate to show support for Noah, you can visit our website, mypanhandle.com, to learn more.